Hey guys, Mike from B Tech Reviews here, and today we activate Boost Mobile on the Motorola ThinkPhone. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I purchased the Motorola ThinkPhone, which is an unlocked device, guys. And just so you guys uh, know, this is pretty much a flagship device for a low cost of only $3.99. I'll go ahead and post an affiliate link from Amazon so you guys can check out, but definitely a very impressive device uh, from Motorola. Uh, the device did come out last year, but it has a Snapdragon Gen 8 one chip uh, plus. It's a Gen 8 one plus chip and 8 gigs of RAM, 8 bit 8K video recording, uh, fast, you know, fast uh, feed, uh Fast speed charging, excuse me, I'm like spacing out here because I'm so excited. And again, this is Motorola's ThinkPhone. This is one of their flagship devices. But anyways, going back here, um, definitely uh, decided to order a Boost Mobile SIM because right now, currently, I think they give you half off the first month. So I picked the $25 plan, uh, which again, you know, it's only uh, $12.50 for the first month if you pay an order online. So again, I, do, I did have to get on the website um, and check that out, but it says important follow instructions on boostmobile.com slash activate. So let's go ahead and get this open just for the heck of it. Hold on, let me, let me take a look here. Pretty much the only thing on the inside is the SIM kit. I didn't get any email instructions on activating this, but definitely, you know, really all that comes in here is just the SIM kit, the, the SIM card itself, right? So nothing too crazy. Um, they did over, they did overnight this to me. Actually, I ordered this on Saturday and it's Tuesday. So it's actually been about three days since I ordered this. Kind of like for it to just come out, but there you go. There, there's the SIM kit itself. Uh, you know, there you go. Um, activation and everything. I'm going to have to do it online. I'm going, I'm going to go to the website again. Website is going to be, uh, again, uh, you know, boostmobile.com slash welcome. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up for you guys. Um, for you on here i wanted to go ahead and actually show you guys what the inside or the sim card slot of the motorola think phone uh, looks like just because um i believe this is the first time i opened this and to my knowledge this actually does not have any expandable memory it is only um sim card slot only so i'm definitely gonna have to just you know put you know get this set up and put it in. Let me see if there's any other steps besides just putting in the SIM card, guys. All right, so I'm, I'm actually going to just put the SIM card in. The website says, if you have a new phone number, it says your number is already active. Go ahead and just, you know, put the SIM card in. So let's see how that works. Again, SIM card's gonna be on the bottom there. I mean, I doubt it's gonna activate automatically, but we'll see, I'm not sure. So from the looks of it, it did pick up service really quick. I'm not sure what's going on there. Let me go ahead and turn off the Wi-Fi just to kind of see what's going on there. CV Tech responding to a message there. But it looks like I already have 5G Plus going on, guys. So again, pretty simple. It really wasn't that hard. I remember the last time I did this, actually. The last time I did this, I actually had to um, set up. Uh, I had to actually go to the carrier settings and change a few things, which, you know, that definitely was different. Um complete setup by installing in apps so let's see i'm not sure what they mean by that linkedin i don't want linkedin and eight business news uh, okay i'm just gonna press okay i'm not sure what's going on there but let's go ahead it seems like it's uh, working let's go ahead and run a speed test here um looks like it's connected guys i don't even know i don't even know my phone number so because i mean i do have an account through boostmobile.com but it says it says uh, i got an email like two like a day or two before i even uh, was able to set this up so let's go ahead and just allow we're just gonna allow so again this is on boost mobile let's see if this works let's see if this works guys hold on let's see because i'm kind of excited oh you know what never mind like it does have like a little a symbol there uh, signifying that i don't have full connection just yet so let me go ahead and get back into this really quick all right, so according to Boost Mobile's instructions, it says you have to go to the Play Store. I went ahead and reactivated the Wi-Fi here. It says you have to download and install an app called Boost Config. So let's go ahead and just search that up here really quick. Boost Config, let's see. 
and it is by Dish Wireless. Let's see. Let's go ahead and click it. Let's go ahead and install it really quick. So it's actually asking me, look at all the Motorola phones, but it's actually asking if I want to install um, the devices to all of the other phones that I have set up with my uh, Google account, which I think is pretty crazy. <laughs> um because you can see here like it has all the android phones although i don't have the tcl phone anymore i think that phone is in tito's hands now so but i think it still recognizes that i had that phone under my account so basically what it says now is to power off the phone and remove and reinsert the sim card and then it says i don't know why okay let's go ahead let's let's do that right let's go ahead and power off the device now we're going to power off the device we're going to remove the SIM card now, which basically all it's just telling you to do is remove it and then reinsert the SIM card, I guess. So remove and insert it, not that hard. Let's go ahead and get this turned back on again. So again, guys, I know this might be a tedious video, but you know, if you're coming from uh, if you're trying to get Boost Mobile active on, let's say, an unlocked device, this would be the route that, you, that you're that you going to do. You do have to update the uh, the APN settings, right? So uh, it says Boost Conviv will update your APN settings for you. So once you restart the phone. So let's, let's find out. Uh, because I remember when I did this with, I believe it was the Pixel 5a. I actually, let me put this aside real quick so I can get my thing plugged in there. There you go or my passcode setting. So when I did this uh, a couple years back with another device, I think I believe it was the Pixel 5a, I, I decided to, um, you know, do this with, um, you know, Boost a while back. And I, I only kept them for maybe a couple months just because I wanted to test out the network. Let's see, it does look like it's, it's going. So according to uh, the website here, it says that the Boost config app will update your APN settings for you. So before you would actually have to manually go in there and do it yourself, right? So in this case, it uh, looks like we are connected to the internet now. Okay, hold on. Well, it says we are. Let's see. Let me go ahead and unplug the Wi-Fi here. It does say we have 5G+. Plus. So let me see if I have Signal, Signal Check Pro over here. I'm going to put Don't Allow for now because I hate uh, the notifications here. But you can see here what uh, Boost Mobile offers in my area. Again, T-Mobile, uh, this is running off T-Mobile's network just because in my area, that's where it's the strongest. Uh, N41 ban. So let's go ahead and do a speed test for you guys. And then we'll go ahead and close out the video here. So really not that complicated, guys. Again, if you buy a, or if you decide to, you know, try out Boost Network, right? It's really not hard uh, to go and just order the SIM kit itself. They, they literally send it to you uh, for... I wouldn't say free. Ooh, test felt complete. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know, I'm not sure what's going on here. So now, now you can see here that my Wi-Fi kind of messed up. Let's try this again, or not my Wi-Fi, but my data connection messed up. So going back, right again. Now it's checking location here. Uh, you know, if you guys want to try out Boost Mobile and you have an unlocked phone, right, definitely would be the route to go. Just ordering the phone online. You can go in person to a Boost uh a boost carrier uh or a boost a local boost affiliate but the thing is they might charge you for like the sim card and they might charge you for activation and again all of this is free when you do it online and you do it for at home yourself it says you did it 50 billion tests thank you for helping us reach 50 billion speed test results all right i wonder if i was number 50 billion <laughs> itself i don't i have no clue this is the first time i ever see this it says read more here. Okay, let's see. Let's read more here. You did it. Speed test reached 50 billion results, etc. Okay, so I mean that just shows you how many people actually <coughs> actually use that. But let's go ahead and do a video test now, just because you know again I want I want you guys to kind of see here what uh, Boost Mobile can do. Now again, it's going to be different in every area. You're going to have uh, you know, some, some people might get the AT&T side of it. I'm getting the T-Mobile side of it, which I'm, I, I, I can't complain uh, too hard. I really like the T-Mobile, uh, side of it just because, um, you know, T-Mobile in my era works pretty decently, so I can't complain too hard. But as you can see here, we are getting, we are running a video, uh, test. So again, right now it says that, you know, my max resolution that it, it could output while using the data is 2160p. Um, can't complain too hard. Let's go back to the speed test here really quick. 
and let's see if I can change the network. So it's actually it's actually hitting uh, Houston, Texas right now. Let's try to get something a little bit local here. I'm just gonna put don't show me this again. Put don't allow. I don't know why. I don't know why it asked me to, but again guys you know take it with a grain of salt this is going to be different in every in each you know different area right right now it's about 9 30 at night time so the fact that i'm you know getting over 100 is not too too bad you know i can't complain too hard i'm gonna have to actually see if i can try to activate my account online just because i don't even you know i don't remember any of the passwords or anything like that so they the way that the way they have it set up is you know you you get 1250 off the first month if you have auto pay set up and i think i have it linked up with my PayPal account, so I might have to go and like remove that. But for the most part, 140 download, uh, seven, you know, seven upload isn't horrible. You know, again, you know, you for fifteen dollars a month, <laughs> looks like Tito just upload. So let's go ahead. Hopefully, let, let's welcome back to the channel. And as you guys can see, I do like using smartwatches as a satellite what? paired to my devices to be able. It to looks like okay. First of all, shout out to Tito. Uh, subscribe to his channel. I'm gonna smash the like button there. Uh, check out his channel guys it looks like he's actually uh, gonna review the watch that i actually uh, sent him so i don't want to i don't want to spoil it there so that is like just like right but now, as you like can see here major, major number one thing that i use a let's see the quality of this like that this. this is streaming and at so playback be normal is, uh, basically the track so it's at 360 my fitness, right my sleep my exercises but, uh, i don't i don't think know, i don't think it can go higher for now my, so so let's go ahead and pause that again, guys. Shout out to Tito again right now. Again, uh, he, the, the video is relatively f f fresh, so it might still be uploading the HD versions of it. But for the most part, you know, again, um, can't complain too hard. You know, this this is a very this is a very solid device for the price, guys. Honestly, if you guys are thinking about getting a phone like the Motorola ThinkPhone, this is basically, I would say it is the Motorola Edge uh, or Edge Plus, you know, minus the curved screen. That's basically what it is. And I'm going to make more videos about this device, guys. But in the meantime, you know, again, definitely just wanted to kind of share with you that uh, the Boost uh, the Boost mobile SIM card setup, really not that hard. Again, all you have to do is just uh, download the uh, Boost Config app, right? Uh, take the SIM, power the phone down, restart the phone, and then, again, just turn the phone back on, and it does everything for you as long as the SIM... As long as the SIM card is uh, in a unlocked phone that will work with the service, you guys are good. Again, let's do another uh, let's do another speed test, and we'll go ahead and and close this out. Very very simple to do, guys. Very simple to do, honestly. It was literally just plug and play. That's all it is. Um, and you know, there's other carriers out there. Uh, uh, my only thing about this device is I do not think that this device has a um, eSIM which is a shocker. I need to double check on that to see if there is an eSIM option, but I don't think this device has eSIM and that's what, one of the reasons why the price uh, is so cheap. Even though this phone came out last year and most phones uh, that came out, you know, within the last couple of years have an eSIM option, you know, this phone I believe does not. So again, 181 download and nine upload. So again, guys, this is Mike from B Tech Reviews signing off. Smash that like button and please subscribe. And always thanks again for watching.